hi my name is Elaine and in today's video I'm going to be finding out if the smart closet app is worth downloading. So I've been reading a lot about these sort of closet wardrobe organization apps and there's a couple on the market there's Stylebook, there's Smart Closet, Stylicious and lots and lots and lots more and I've always been intrigued by the idea of them because I'm someone with a modest enough amount of clothes however I kind of forget the outfits that I've put together and I tend to just keep re-wearing the same outfits over and over and over again and it's something about myself that I want to change so with that in mind I've decided to try out one of these apps for a full week and see how I get on and as always I have split this video into sections and the time codes to each section are listed in the description bar below so you can skip ahead to whichever one is relevant to you. So first off, the app that I have chosen to review is the Smart Closet app. And it was between this and Stylebook. And the reason I went with the Smart Closet app is because it's free. The Stylebook app was about $3.99, $4.99 maybe, um, but this one is free. There is a pro version within it and from my sort of you know tinkering away with it last night and this morning I can't really see what the pro version could have that the free version doesn't. I've had a look around to see what the pro version does give you but I actually can't find any information on it and I'm not going to sign up to it. However with this app you don't need to pay um, to get all of the excellent user features. It's available on Android and Apple and then you can either use the app without signing up, which I quite like to have that option when you're trying out an app, I don't need to have another subscription, or you can sign up. So that's quite a nice option. And I suppose one thing about signing up is that if something did happen to the app and there was a problem, at least if you have, if you know if that information is stored within your account, then all your hard work hasn't gone to waste. So after about an hour of use, I signed up. So now I wanna show you how to use the app itself. So this is what the app looks like when you open it up and uh, there's a lot of different features in it but the main ones that I use and the ones I want to focus on are the closet part, the uh, lookbook part and then the calendar and packing. So first off the closet part is where you add in clothes and I'm just going to give you a couple of tips that I have picked up when um, finding images to add in. So the first thing to note is that you need to have them on a blank background so either one color or white preferably and one easy way I found of doing this if I just scroll to the bottom is that if you look at these images here they're quite professionally taken the majority of them that's because I went through my wardrobe and I thought about certain items that I have that are quite generic so things like black skinny jeans a black skirt and I went online and I looked at either the actual item itself or I just googled you know white t-shirt and I picked a white t-shirt that kind of looks like the one I have. Saved out the images and used those to import. Then further up I suppose the quality of the images becomes a bit more hit and miss like this is a little bit duller than the actual color that it is and there's a kind of a shadow at the top of this item it looks like it's ombre and it's not. That's because these are the ones that I took myself and when I was taking them um, I'm just going to insert footage here to show you how I took the photographs. So I used a blank background. It just so happens that my bedroom walls are gray and that there's this kind of scraggly looking nail sticking out of the wall that we never took out because we only saw it after we painted the walls. So what I did here was I got a white colored hanger. I have a white wire hanger and I hung up all my clothes one by one on that and I took a photograph of them. I took the photograph directly into my camera roll because it meant then I could take a couple of shots and I could also tweak and edit them before I imported them and I found this really really helpful. Other places you could take them as I, I for one or two shots I had to use the back of my door the only problem with that is that there's paneling on the door so there's lots of shadows and then another thing I saw online was that people use maybe a white sheet on the ground so they laid their clothes out which meant that possibly they could get their clothes looking a little bit and um, maybe shaped a bit better rather than mine which were hanging on the hanger. So they are all the different options. I would recommend the way I did it. It was easy and for the most part, the images were quite easy to edit and it didn't take as long as I thought. I went through a lot of items and I probably did it all in about half an hour. So now I'm just gonna go back into the app and show you then how to add them. So um, for instance, you click add item 
choose from album you can take the photo directly in but i always go choose from album then you go into the images you have so i'm just going to show you quickly um you know one of the um ones i found online so this was of a black skirt this here uh, if you have it down really low you see it kind of goes jagged at the edge whereas if you bring it right up to the top it cuts in around the item nicely you then can click OK. You can put it in as a category. So for instance, a skirt and a mini skirt. Click OK. Color, black. And this particular brand was Marks and Spencers. Then there's some other options you can put in, but the only other one I use is Seasons. So for instance, this would not be a summer skirt for me, but I would use it in all of the other seasons in Ireland. Click Enter, and then you can see it's added to the closet. Now I'm just gonna show you one of the more trickier items to photograph. So for instance, um, let's go for uh, this navy top here. So if I mess around with the arrays strength thing, um, I can get it cut quite around, but as you see, I need to Maybe zoom in here and cut out this bit and this bit. And then I might need to use the eraser, which you can change the size of and remove the hanger. Um, I would obviously do this a lot neater if I was doing it for myself, but like cut the neck out of it. Zoom, this is another little bit. There's something on that was on the wall. And you know, for the most part, like maybe zoom in again and fill that bit. Yeah, and I would just go around it quite neatly. Then you um, can crop around it just to make sure that it crops right around it click enter and as you can see it adds in the same way so then once you've added your items you can go across the top here and you can really streamline you know the different um, items that you have and see what you own and what maybe you'd like to purchase and um, you can also customize it so you can put in other categories if you need to for instance in sweaters you might like to put in you know sleeveless cardigans or something like that and um, then you can go back out here and you can filter. So you might decide you're out shopping and you go, um, okay, I have the black skirt. Do I really need another black skirt? You can click skirts, you can click black, you can apply it and you see all of your skirts that have the color black in it. And you're like, yeah, actually it's another black mini skirt. I already have a black mini skirt. I don't need another. So now I'm gonna show you how to create a look. So the uh, first thing you do is you click add look you have a couple of options here. The one that I use the most is create collage look. And then as you see, you can look through all of your clothes or you can maybe filter them. So for instance, I'm going to do a summer holiday outfit and I don't care what color it is. So I'm gonna try out this skirt. I'm gonna pair it maybe with, I don't know, um, a nice black t-shirt. And I want to wear it with, some nice flip-flops and then I want to add in a necklace. So you can bring these items in and you can mess around with them. You could maybe set it up so it looks like the full outfit. You can make the shoes bigger, you can make them smaller, you can, you know, add in, if you want to add in a hair tie, that's kind of a weird looking outfit. But look, this is only just to show you and um, you can do whatever you want with it then you can also flip the way maybe they want the shoe in it and um, so you're like yeah that's my outfit i'm done then you click the tick you click the occasion so you're like summer holidays excellent season and then of course summer and you're like that's a perfect outfit click enter and then it adds into your lookbook then as you can see up the top i've made loads of them so if i want to look at my work outfits or you know outfits that i might wear to the pub i can't figure out what to wear my summer holiday outfits um, I can also customize so I can add in extra ones. So I've already customized these to suit me and if I have other occasions, I'll add them in and then I can filter them. So I might go for my summer uh, work outfits. So I click that and I go, okay, well, these are my options that I can wear this summer. Perfect, that's a really great idea. And then if I really want to at that point, I can say, I'm gonna wear that tomorrow. So I can add that to the calendar, click it in Tuesday, click the tick and uh, away you go. Another really cool thing that you can do with this is that you can click add look, you can create a random look. And what you do is you create a random rule. So with the rule, for instance, just say you want to make, um, you're looking at skirts, so you wanna try um, just your mini skirts. You want to try any top, all tops. And then just say for shoes, you want, because you're trying to create a winter outfit, you go shoes and you go just your ankle boots. 
click enter and then you click on this and it gives you all the options of what you could wear using those items so I'm like oh I really like this outfit I never would have thought of you know pairing the white t-shirt with it so then it brings all your items in and then you can mess around with the items so you could go here pop the paper bag waist skirt here and then maybe you might add a necklace to that and then you might add in a pair of tights. I just have these pennies tights just thrown into it so that I always know to have tights. Rip that there and you go, perfect. That's a really cool like party outfit for the winter. You might wanna throw a jacket in, you might take the jacket out. Click tick, go occasion, dinner, pub, perfect season. You're like, that would be really good for fall and winter. Click okay, in you go. And your outfit's been created. So that's how you use the app and how you load your clothes into it. And I have to say it is quite time consuming. So I've probably spent maybe six hours on this over the past two days. You know, I've been tipping away at it over the weekend. I like this kind of thing and I like being really organized. So for me, it's not really a bother. But if you are someone who hates the idea of this, well then potentially this app is not for you because there is a bit of work that you need to do in order to get up and running. However, one thing to note about that is that once you are up and running, then, you know, all you have to do is the odd time add a new piece as you buy it. But for now, I want to try this app out. I'm going to use it over the next week. Some interesting bits. I'm going to have three days of work, so I'm going to schedule my outfits for that. I also am going to a hen party, so I might use the packing feature for that. And I'm going to Lisbon on Sunday, so I may also use the packing feature for that. Um, okay. So let's give it a go and I'll come back in a week and tell you how I got on. Hello, today's Monday. So today is my first day using the app and I've already put my outfit that I'm wearing. I've actually put it in last night because I picked out what I was going to wear. But right now I'm just going to pop into the app and I'm going to show you. I'm going to pick out all of my outfits for um, the next three days in work. And I'm going to show you how I do that. And then... Um, Maybe later in the week, I'm going to plan my packing for, I have to go to a hen party on Friday. So I'm going to plan that packing then. And I'm going to use the packing section for that. And I actually decided to import a lot of my summer clothes. So I plan on using the packing section for that part as well. Because I'm going on holidays on Sunday, so I can show you me using it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to plan my outfits now, I think. So we go into the calendar part, and as you can see... I have already put in my outfit for today. So I'm just wearing a baseball tee, leggings and flip-flops. And then I just added a gray jumper extra because I put that on later because I got a bit cold. Um, and then I've looked at the weather for the next three days. So it looks like it's gonna be nice on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, as in not nice, but the temperatures are gonna be up. So that kind of dictates a lot of what I wear. Then it does say it's going to rain on and off on those days. But what I tend to do is wear a sort of a waterproof jacket into work. And I wear runners when I'm walking into work. So it doesn't really impact what I'm wearing during the day. That's something I do anyway. So I'm going to go into Tuesday. And I'm going to add a look to Tuesday. And I'm going to filter it by um, work casual and then smart casual and the reason being is that I work in quite a casual office so I can wear casual enough clothes and I'm actually also going to filter it by spring summer and fall so I'm gonna have a look here and see if there's anything that I would like to wear I'll probably wear jeans for the next couple of days so I'm gonna go I think I might wear this tomorrow add that in so this is like a pink t-shirt these sandals and black jeans the reason being I actually need to wash that t-shirt for the weekend so there's that and then on Wednesday I will add a new look so again filter by I wish it would kind of sometimes save the filter but then other times I wish it wouldn't I might go for this item here because I'm going to bring that white t-shirt away with me at the weekend so I can have it washed so I'm gonna add that. And then for my last day, I'm gonna wear something that I'm not gonna be bringing away with me. Yeah, so I'm gonna wear this outfit here then 
on Thursday. And the reason being is that I'm not gonna bring any of these outfits with me to on holidays or anything or to the hen party. So that's perfect. And it's the same shoes again. I'll probably wear these. I'm not gonna bring them on holidays, but I'll probably wear them to the hen party as well. I kind of tend to wear the same shoes all the time. So I'm gonna to go to that, that's perfect. And then on the Friday, the hen party, I have an idea of what I'm gonna wear, which is if I just filter it by dinner pub, um, I have an idea and I'm going to wear, I think I'm gonna wear this. So it's like a white blouse type thing, uh, black jeans and these nice comfy shoes. And then um, for the Saturday of the and do you know what? I might just reuse this outfit again because I'll have it and it'll be comfortable and I think I'll just do that. But I might wear different shoes. Anyway, so that's my outfits in for the week. And then another thing you can do is I'm almost sure that you can add like a reminder or something. Oh yeah, notify calendar look. So open settings for the notifications. So I have to allow notifications first and I will go back to Smart Closet and then the time for the notification, I'm gonna make it be 7.30 because that's kind of usually when I'm getting dressed. So I can pop that in and see if that pops up. And then, yeah, that's kind of it. So it's 7.30 in the morning and I thought I had set reminders um, on this app to tell me what to wear, but it's actually 7.31 and I haven't seen anything. So I'm just gonna turn you around here. Notification time for calendar look. Uh, so I didn't have it on. Okay, so we'll try tomorrow. But for today, we'll just manually go in and have a look. So today's outfit is pink t-shirt, black jeans, these shoes, and my little necklace. Easy. So this is my outfit. Let's fix my hair. So I've just kind of lightly tucked this in at the front um I might kind of leave it loose in around the back and or i'll tuck it fully and i haven't decided or i'll just leave it out again have not decided um i did add this belt though and just because these jeans i was wearing them at the weekend so they're a little bit loose and there's the shoes and then i've got my necklace so I'm gonna go dry my hair. So this is today's effort. And that's my dog whining in the background. Hi buddy. Um, but yeah, so I have the same necklace as yesterday. White t-shirt, mm. black jeans, which I'm gonna wash later. So that's why I still have the belt on because they're a bit loose. And then you can see in my hair, I just have this little hair headscarf tied into it and then I'm gonna wear my runners walking to work because it's a bit chilly but I'll be bringing my other shoes in with me and that is today's outfit of the day helped chosen by my app oh, some dry shampoo on me so it is Thursday it's my last day of work this week and I was I went to look at the app and I looked at the outfit that I picked, but I actually can't wear it because two of the items are in the wash. So it was this uh, outfit here, which was like a grey cardigan, my green, I had the green top, I had the shoes obviously, but the jeans were also in the wash. So I kind of, uh, so I deleted that out and I sort of come up with an outfit on the fly. It's not the most amazing outfit, but it has been, it's a bit chilly this morning. It's not cold enough to wear like bigger one ear jumpers. So I'm just wearing a long sleeve top, pair of black jeans, and I'm probably just gonna wear runners, something really simple. Um, because as I said, my workplace is quite casual. Black jeans. And if you're wondering, I have two pairs of these black jeans, which is why I wear them all the time. So this is the new pair and the other pairs in the wash. And then just this purple long sleeve top. I may or may not put a necklace. I think I might just leave it quite simple. And then I will probably put on just a pair of runners, maybe black or gray runners with it. And then one really handy thing about the app was that you saw in it that, that you can do a packing section. So I already put in my packing stuff for Lisbon. I'm gonna do the hen party packing tonight and um, just to show you how it works. But so I put in my items for Lisbon. So you can see here if it will focus. Actually, I'll turn you around this way. So you can see here, these are my outfits that I have for Lisbon. And then it just itemizes each of the uh, items. And then I've just put in a couple of extras like this cardigan just 
to bring with me. So what I did this morning is I wanted to put a wash on so um, of any clothes I need to bring to Lisbon. So I looked down through this list and I noticed that for instance, that dress needed to be washed and technically actually that dress needs to be washed. So I'm gonna have to run downstairs and do that. And um, pretty much everything else was fine, but I was able to check through it to see is there anything that needed to be washed uh, oh, and that, that is in the wash. Um, and I was able to put the wash on this morning, so I thought that was quite handy. Okay, so it's later on, and I just want to show you um, how to use the packing feature. So I actually, it's the moment I'm in the calendar, right? And I already have put in my outfits for the, or kind of what I'm thinking of wearing for the hen party. So. I'm kind of torn between wearing this kind of pink top and maybe a black leather jacket or this whitey um, top and black jeans and the shoes. And I'm kind of just gonna try them on tomorrow morning and see which one suits best. I'd probably go for this white one though, I think, um, because it's not that warm anymore. And then for the day after, if you remember, I had a different outfit in, but it's actually not washed. So I was like, I'll just keep the black jeans. I'll have this like blue jumpery thing because it's meant to be kind of 12 13 degrees tomorrow black jeans runners and the necklace and that'll be flying now when you want to go to the packing part which would be great would be if you could kind of sync up your packing with your calendar but you can't so you have to come out of here and go into packing so as you can see lisbon is already in there so i'm gonna go i'm actually gonna swap hands to do this uh, so I'm right-handed and then you go to the title. I'm going to call it N. This is so weird because it's like not in party. Cool. Go to the date, which I think it's the 6th of September to the 7th because it's only an overnighter. Click OK. And then you go into it and you add in looks. So I know that this is my look for Saturday. So I'm going to click enter. Then it says also add five items to packing. You click add and they pop up here. And then add one more look, which is if I scroll down this one. So I'm going to add in that. And then it says add three items and you add them because it won't add your duplicate items. So that's kind of my packing so far. And then the extra thing I wanted to add in was I want to add in this pink top just in case that's what I want to wear. Uh, and there you go. That's all the items that I have to pack. Obviously I'll be wearing some going, but uh, that's kind of how easy it is. And then you just go back out of it. And if you see as well, I know I er, earlier I showed you like my Lisbon packing list and I decided as well for myself to put my Lisbon outfits in. So for instance, on the Sunday traveling, I'm gonna wear like a pair of jeans and that top. And then when I arrive, I'm gonna wear this um, little play suit and shoes. And then I just have my runners extra in case I need them. I'll probably use them traveling. And then for instance, on the Monday, I'm gonna wear this during the day. And then I'm gonna wear this cute little outfit. Now, I may not stick to exactly what these are because I did overpack in terms of outfits and um, I may or may not wear them all. And then obviously on the Wednesday on the traveling home day, if I would like to wear something like this. So I've put all the outfits in, but I probably will. I'm not gonna film when I'm away, but um, this is kind of how it is. And this is, I guess, a week of me using the app. So the next clip that you see from me will be once I am back from Lisbon and I'm giving you a bit of a review on whether I like it or not. So I was just sitting down to edit this video and I realized that I never actually finished the video and told you whether or not I would recommend you to download this app. So um, these are my final thoughts when it comes to the Smart Closet app. So there's three main things that I came into this wanting to achieve from this app. 
So the very first one is I wanted to get more organized. I wanted to organize my life a bit better. And you probably know that uh, a lot of great CEOs, like people like Mark Zuckerberg, tend to wear the same outfits day in, day out. They have a, he has a selection of t-shirts and jeans that look the same. And the reason being is for him, it cuts out having to come up with something to wear because there's a thing where if you have to make too many decisions in a day, you can get fatigued from it. It's called decision fatigue. And that is something that when I'm maybe under stress or um, if I'm just busy, that I find trying to come up with outfits quite difficult and I just end up sticking to sort of boring enough outfits that don't make me feel very good. So what I wanted to do with this app was to get organized and be able to plan what I wanted to wear on a Sunday for the whole week and then I would feel good, feel confident and I wouldn't have to worry about it on the morning. The second thing then was to do with style. I just wanted to mix up my style a bit. As I said, I kind of tended to stick to the same things and I have some nice pieces and I wanted to find out new ways of wearing them. Also, I currently work in a job that's quite casual, but I am, I may mention it in another video better, but I am potentially moving to another job, which um, I would like to just dress a little bit more professionally in so I but I still want to stay true to my own style and then the last point that I wanted to hit on was sustainability so that was uh, really to show me how much clothes I do have and that I don't need to go out and buy more and that when I am out shopping that I can look into my wardrobe when I'm out and about and go yeah this jumper would be perfect it'll go with like this this and this and this or no I already have a black jumper I don't need a second one so they were the three points that I wanted to hit on and to be honest this app has helped me to achieve all three of them. First off, it's really taken the stress out of getting dressed and also about planning, you know, trips or instead of just packing a load of random clothes, I'm packing outfits. Uh, the second point then to do with style, yes, I do think it has helped my style. In the week of me trying it out, you'll see that I am wearing just like lots of jeans and t-shirts. And because as I said, this is the job that I'm currently in, which there's a lot of jeans and t-shirts. However, because I'm, potentially maybe kind of yes moving to a new job I am hoping that it will help me to develop my style a bit more and to develop a really nice smart casual style and then the third one is sustainability I'm actually going shopping with my mom tomorrow and I've made a list of a couple of pieces that I would like to find and at least I'm hoping that it will help me to sort of be able to buy things that would properly fit into my wardrobe but also since I've got this app I haven't actually bought any new clothes I haven't felt the need to because I just feel like I constantly have new outfits and you know that part in the app where you can go and like sort of do you know you can put in the create the random look that's been great because I came up with a really cool outfit which I'm planning to wear more so in the autumn time um, and I only came up with that through the app. So in terms of all of the things that I liked about it, it's very user friendly, so easy to use, everything is in easy parts and the processes to do everything are quite simple. The second thing is that it's free, and as I said, I have no idea what the pro part gives you, but I have been able to use everything the way I've wanted to using the free version. The third thing then is it's actually really easy to add clothes once you have them on a blank background. Number four, I love that you get those random looks. As I said, I created an outfit that I would not have put together previously, and I did that through the app, and I wouldn't have done that probably if I didn't use the app. And then the fifth thing then that I really like is that you don't have to create an account to use it. I have obviously created an account. That's because I want to try and hopefully it would mean that I can save my items. But you don't have to create a, an account to use it and that's brilliant. Then there's five things that I don't like about it. So the first is, yes, it is actually tedious to put the stuff in. It's hard, you know, it'd be nice if they had a bank of things already in the app that you could draw from, like white t-shirts, black jeans, all those kind of basics to help you to get started rather than you having to manually input every single item. Second thing is that the calendar and the packing list don't link and I think that would be quite cool that if you could put in the outfits you know for your calendar and then when you go to create your packing list that it will draw from the outfits that you had in your calendar. Third thing then is the lack of a capsule wardrobe option so I would really like to create a particular work capsule wardrobe so be able to put you know 12 items into the capsule and then create outfits based on that. I still haven't figured out a way to do it. At first I was like, maybe I put them all into one season, but then that limits you if you want to use the season for other things. Sorry, I ran out of space there. So yeah, as I said, the capsule wardrobe option. I just can't figure out how to do it and I think it would be really nice if you could do it. The fourth thing then is it does give you an option to put in a status. So whether the clothes are in the wash or whether you want to buy them or not, but it's actually quite tedious to do. So you have to go into each item, item manually and then put in the wash and then take it out of the wash. I already see the point. For me as well, 
uh, you know, nothing's in the wash that long and I can just pick a different outfit if it is in the wash. So either that would be good to make it um, much quicker just to be able to really like, you know, select really quickly um, or just don't bother having that feature. And then the fifth one then is that when it sends you your calendar look for the day, it, this is really kind of, I'm nitpicking now, but it would be cool if in the app it brought you actually straight to the look, whereas it just brings you to the homepage, which is kind of pointless because unless you follow people on it, there's nothing on your homepage and then you have to go in and find the calendar um, and then go to it that way. So I think that if the calendar was the first thing that you saw, that'd be quite cool. And um, I'm just making it a bit more user-friendly. But would I recommend you downloading it and using it? Yes, 100% yes. If you don't like tedious things, and you have no interest in inputting all of your stuff into it, don't bother, there's no point. But if you are looking for a way to really organize your wardrobe, create new outfits, and be able to plan your wardrobe in advance, 100% this app is perfect. I didn't notice any glitches with it. It worked perfectly, and as I said, the, the four or the three things that I wanted it to do, it has done, and I'm really looking forward to kind of using it. I'm actually gonna create a video with some of the looks that I have put together um, in a sort of a work capsule wardrobe type thing um, in the coming weeks. So look out for that. But yeah, I just think it's great. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. If you liked it as always, please give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, please click the subscribe button to keep up to date. The moment my schedule is kind of every fortnight that I'm uploading a video and I hope you bear with me. I will hopefully get back to weekly uploads, but for the moment it's what I can manage and I'm really enjoying making these videos. Um, but yes, that is it for this week and I hope you have a lovely week coming and you've had a lovely weekend and thanks for watching.